I'm here today with Andrew Fox from Aruba and we're going to be discussing Aruba and what's happening in the channel and with Aruba in the market. Welcome Andrew. Thanks Lisa. So first question I've got for you today is how does Aruba see the landscape in New Zealand looking in the next few years and how does Aruba fit into that picture? So it's, uh, it's changed slightly as everyone knows over the last couple of years. Um, heading out from now until sort of 2025 uh, most of our customers are concentrating on things like working from home, um, on trying to trace their employees, where they've been, where they're going uh, for COVID reasons. Um, so some of the traditional network use cases are getting extended into those things. Um, so we see over the next few years, the network's going to become fundamental to a lot of these things that people are trying to do. Um, why Aruba is really well placed for that is that we have uh, a, a fantastic, fantastic portfolio, not just of good network gear, because that's kind of table stakes nowadays, but an amazing story in terms of what you can do on top of that, you know, around security or around COVID contact tracing or, um, you know, around tracing your people around a building and, you know, heat mapping and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's value add on top of a rock solid network. Yeah. yeah. Tell us why you think the resellers should consider Aruba as a product. So as I said, um, not only do we make really good gear, you know, it does what it says on the box. All of our customers love what we do. Um, tends to work as advertised. So from a reseller perspective, you know, it will work. Uh, it will probably not take any more time than you'd anticipate it to implement, which is really important for a reseller. Um, and it will probably delight your customer, which is really, really cool. Um, the, uh, the other reason why they should be talking to us is over the last sort of 10 years or so, we've developed a killer cloud uh, management solution. Uh, it's a platform we call our um, edge services platform. Mm -hmm. And that for a reseller or a managed service provider or anyone like that provides a single point that they can manage all of the infrastructure for one of their clients, like all of their switches, all of their wireless, all of their WAN, all from one spot. Um, and I think for a lot of partners that, you know, compared to some of the alternatives on the market, that's really attractive mm. in terms of time saving and uh, providing an amazing experience for their customers. Yeah. Tell me about Silverpeak. I know you guys have just done an acquisition of this really recently, and this is definitely a product that has a great fit into the New Zealand market. So I'd be interested just to learn a little bit more about it. Um, really exciting for us. They're a, a leading WAN, uh, SD WAN provider. Um, you know, in, right in the top right of that Gartner Magic Quadrant, which is really important to us and to a lot of our customers. Um, we're excited because that amazing technology at the top end of the WAN space where they play, um, that opens up opportunities for us, yeah. uh, which is great. In New Zealand, um, not quite so much because we have amazing, amazing connectivity and our fibre and everything is, is incredible. So in a lot of cases, we don't need uh, some of that top-end technology, but nevertheless, we're also looking forward to seeing that amazing technology uh, move down into the rest of the portfolio, which is a great thing that happens when you buy a company with awesome tech, right? So that will happen over the next sort of one to two years. Yeah, fantastic. I think it will be a good fit for, for the New Zealand market. So how does Aruba help resellers unlock additional lines of business within their existing customer base? So, so as I said before, um, you know, not only do we have really good solid networking equipment, you know, 16 years now as a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant in wired and wireless networking, that's an amazing achievement. So the gear does a great job and it's rock solid. But as I said before, it's what you can do on top of that. So if you're a partner, there's opportunities around, you know, dynamic segmentation and security, for example, you know, to keep customers safe. There's opportunities around, um, as, as I was saying before, around sort of heat mapping or retail loyalty tracking or COVID uh, tracing or all of these things that traditionally you don't think of them as being part of a network solution, mm. but they're all things that you can do on top of that. Um, we don't have a services capability at Aruba. We rely completely on our on our partners for that. So there's a great opportunity to, to bolt services on the side and take those into the market. Um, and we're also hell bent on supporting our partners to deliver anything we do as a service. So to build a managed service provider capability. So if the partner is interested in taking a uh, solution to market on a, you know, buy the drink basis, which is what our customers are asking for, um, then we can help with that, either by helping them to purchase equipment and do it on a traditional basis, or by offering them that equipment, you know, as a service in its own right, so they can add their services and value on top and on sell that to the customer. So 
mm. has a, a much gentler impact on the balance sheet for a partner. Absolutely. Just talking MSP because it seems to be the thing at the moment. It is, yeah. Do you want to just talk a little bit around the MSB partner program and what that looks like? Sure. So we recognise that uh, MSP is different, you know, mm. and it, it's 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 uh, it's a different sales motion and it needs different things for a partner to be successful. So we have a program in place at Aruba. It, it sort of sits on alongside our, our traditional partner program, uh, Partner Ready for Networking. And that takes care of everything that a partner needs to be successful as a managed service provider. So it takes care of some really simple plumbing things like, you know, predefined discounts that they can quote out without even having to think about whether approvals and things uh, need to be got in place. So as a managed service provider, you get a really sharp discount, better than what you'll get in the market um, at minute one, which is cool. Um, we also take care of all of that training and certification. So to make sure that partner staff know how our stuff works, you know, know what needs to be done to make it an excellent experience for a customer um, and, you know, know what the certification steps look like and we'll help walk them through that. Um, we also help them in this program with marketing. So we'll provide uh, marketing development funds to help with campaigns or, you know, or co-developed campaigns or, you know, co-branded campaigns into market to help create demand for, for their solutions. And the last thing that program offers and this is really important to us. Um, although it's an internal Aruba thing, if if, if an Aruba salesperson sells uh, a managed service provider's offering into a customer, the salesperson gets paid just as they would if they'd sold a bunch of gear into that customer. So I know that's an internal plumbing thing, but it means that our salespeople are really excited by the potential for that MSP to sell into that customer. Absolutely. So it does make a bit of a difference. Yeah. So. Talking about all these things and people will start to get a bit more interested in what's actually happening with Aruba in the market. Yep. How would a reseller go about joining the Aruba program and becoming an Aruba reseller? Well, you know, simply reach out. We're a small but perfectly formed team here in New Zealand. There's uh, 12 of us heading into 2021. Um, so they're welcome to make contact with me and we'll walk them through that or, of course, through Dikadata. Um, the team are uh, very happy, your team are very happy to hook uh, the partners up with us. Um, it's not a complicated program. It's all sort of online sign up. Um, you know, we it's a tiered program. So I start from silver, you know, start from business partner, silver, plat gold, platinum. You know, pretty normal in the market. Yeah. Um, and each of those tiers depends on how much business you write and the level of technical certification and capability you have. Um, so by the time you get to the top of the tier, you're a very capable partner that does a chunk of business with Aruba. So exciting.